Hey YouTube, what's going on? Steam Tink here, here to do another video review. I'm actually going to be doing it for the company called The Friendly Vapor. Go to their website, check them out, get some juice. Um, I actually got some juice from them, which I'm going to be doing a review on, and I appreciate it that uh, when I got it from them, they sent me a thank you. Uh, I got five bottles of juice. Um, you can go on their website and get the same ones that I've got. I also picked up something extra, which is a tank. You can see this right here. There we go. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to build on it quite yet. Uh, been a little busy, <laughs> but I'll, I'll get right into the juice. All right. Uh, first one we have is Sex on the Beach. These are all 10 mil bottles, and I believe they are. Um, 3565 mix and these are all three nick. As you can see there, beautiful color on the bottom. It looks very, very similar to the drink. I mean, um, I, I've never really drank it that much before, but uh, from uh, my perspective, I really enjoyed the drink. It's tribute to Jimmy Buffett for the Sex on the Beach drink. Um, when you open it up, you just get this really big whiff of like coconut and pineapple, and it's it's really really nice. Like you get the like you get the real tropical blend. You're like on an island, relaxing, having a drink. You can be on a beach, uh, anywhere. Take this with you. You'll feel right at home and relaxed. And I really love it. When companies have these, they're very friendly to drippers. Haha, uh -huh, get it? Friendly vapor. Friendly. Uh -huh. it, anyways, I thought it was funny. <laughs> anyways, the color alone is beautiful. The smell is even better. And at first, I was like, yeah, I'm not real sure. I was, I had like some doubts when you get like a drink flavor you don't know if you're going to taste like the virgin one or the alcoholic one this one definitely tastes like a happy medium between both of them I really enjoyed it really really did um, next one I'm actually going to show you is called orange cream pop and definitely you can tell it's orange not, not just based off the cap alone but also because of the color. This one, I've tried quite a few orange cream popsicle ones. This one is orange cream pop. And as you can guess, it's going to be like the ice cream. You know how you'd always, like, if the ice cream truck came around, it's like, ooh, ooh I want an orange cream pop. Or you can go to the grocery store and your mom would say, ooh, pick out an ice cream. Ooh, I want the orange cream. At the same time, you're like, it's healthy. It's, not, it's ice cream. But anyways, enough of me rambling on that. This one is really, really good. I've tried quite a few orange ones. This one is right up there where I want it to be. Just the smell alone is spot on. It tingles the nose just quite a bit. And then when you inhale it, it's like nice, nice, uh, calm, refreshing cool, a li little bit of a cool, not like overpowering cool, not harsh on the throat. Good exhale. I enjoyed it. My husband enjoys it, so definitely pick up orange cream pop. Another one we have is called Tutti Frutti. The uh, color it may look black, it may look brown. I wasn't really sure. I have to like pretty much put it up to the light to figure out what kind of color it was. It looked like a dark uh, grape color. You know how you'd see those uh, really, really dark grapes that look like they're black? That's what it looked like to me. So, and it even smells like that. I mean, it's called Tutti Frutti. So, what else would it be with fruit? I'm trying to pick out what other kind of. Um, fruits would be in there. I mean, really, what would go good with grapes? Uh, 
can't really think of it at the moment, but I, I enjoyed it. I love fruit flavors, so this one was definitely one of those good ones to try if you're trying to find a new fruit one or if you're just getting into it. And like I said, I'll, oh, this one, this one is actually 3070. I I thought they were all the same, but no, this one's 3070. The orange cream was 3763, and those are all PGVG. Now another one we have is called Blue Violet. You can see the name. Oh yes, and all these have like the little friendly vapor ghost. Haha. Uh -huh. So you can see him there. You can see him here too. There he is flying away. Anyways, on to the juice. Um, this one's called Blue Violet. The color is like almost like a crystal color. Uh, I love the color of the top cap. Actually, it's more like a dark navy blue. The camera's actually making it dark or uh, lighter. But it's actually more like a navy blue. This one. Ooh. It's strawberry. Strawberry and melon, actually. Which work really well together. Actually, I'm going to drip a little real quick and show you guys how it puts off. And this one is uh, 3466. I know a whole lot of different uh, <laughs> mixes. Mm. You definitely get the hint of like the strawberry and a little bit of hint of a melon. They play off really well together. Very subtle, not overpowering, but just enough. I, that's a really, really good mix for this. Doesn't need like a flavor shot or anything like that. It's good to go just like it is. You take this, um, put them in a tank, bake it all day. Now on to another one. This one is called Tiger's Blood. And this is actually based off like the snow cone flavor. Um, first time I ever actually had a snow cone uh, that had a tiger's blood on it was like a couple of years ago and I was like, ooh, that sounds nice. It's got like pineapple, coconut, strawberry, and I believe one other thing like uh, a melon. It might be watermelon. I could be wrong. Um, but I tried this. At first, I didn't really, really like it, but then I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a second chance. So I vaped it again, kept on, kept on, and I was like, okay, yeah, I can, I can see how they were going with this. And this one is a 3070. Personally, I would um, suggest, like, I, I would have I liked just a little, the tiniest bit more flavor off of it. It wasn't bad. I just would like a little bit more flavor, so more like 60-40, um, perhaps. Uh, that might might do it, but it's not bad at all. It's definitely good. It tastes just like the snow cone. I mean, it's it's fruit flavors. What do you, what else do you want? You got coconut, you got strawberry, you got watermelon, you got pineapple. Such a great mix, and I really, really liked how they did that and incorporated them all together. They mixed really well. Now, the very last one I have, oh, I was so excited about this one. This is called Tiramisu. And it's got this nice, the, the camera's actually making it look like it's black, but if you can see in the light a little bit, it's got this brown color to it, like very, very dark brown, like coffee brown, like fresh brewed coffee. And if anyone knows me, they know my favorite dessert is tiramisu with the lady fingers, the rum, and the oh, just everything together. It just tastes so good. Yes, it's finger looking good. But this one, this is spot on. I, I've, I've never had a more perfect tiramisu flavor. I'm not joking. I'm not being paid for this. I'm telling you my honest opinion. This is spot on tiramisu. I've had quite a few tiramisus in my life, so it was really, really nice to be able to have one that actually tastes like it. It's not 
not like got any crap in it. This is this is the real deal tiramisu. If someone's looking for a great dessert one, or is like, ooh, I I might want to try this. Definitely pick them up some. Definitely get yourself some. Definitely check out the Friendly Vapor. Go to their website. Look at all the cool stuff they have on there. Get yourself like a tank or even juice. You get yourself a starter kit if you want to. They're really nice people. We'll get it right out to you. You guys won't be disappointed. You'll be happy. And like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what you, the subscribers, want me to vape next. And as always, guys, vape on Murphy Cotton. Bye, guys.